Buffalo Bills Mafia, this is a very special Chalk Talk episode 15 because we are talking about the third all-time leading rusher in NFL history, Frank Gore, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. He's only been with us for a year, but he is the third all-time rusher and he did it on our Buffalo Bills team. What a what a game from this Buffalo Bills team. Singletary, over 100 yards for his first time in his career. 20 carries, 103 yards is what I stopped him at. I don't know if he got any more. Congrats to him too as well. Following his mentor, Frank Gore. This is a big win for the Buffalo Bills here. We're 8-3 and three, the first time since 1996. Four of the last six games are W's. And now we have a short, short turnover as the Bills play the Dallas Cowboys on the 430 slot and Thanksgiving uh couldn't be happier. Eight and three. I'm right off the game here, guys, so I'm fresh. And we have five games left. In my opinion, at a minimum, and we'll look just to next week, but we need two wins here, and that seems a lot better than the potential of losing this last game. Two more wins out of five games seems very doable to get to 10, and that seems like what it's going to take. Oakland lost big to the Jets just now, so that definitely helps, too. Um... I'm excited as heck for this Buffalo Bills team. I'm very happy with the way Allen did. Um, we finally got the deep ball, Josh Allen to John Brown. It was a 34-yard touchdown, beautiful throw, and beautiful catch by them. And what can I say other than they played another full and complete 60-minute game at home. This team wasn't a pushover just like we thought, but we got ahead. And I felt like we were going to get the long ball, and we did. And he didn't get quite 300 yards. I don't know what Allen ended up with. You know, another, you know, he had a pick. But, you know, those things are going to happen. And I think they're playing in, in relation to last Chalk Talk, playing fearless. I think they did again. I think Allen did. Maybe that's where the interception came from. Who knows? Let's not speculate. But it just wasn't a good ball. It was, it was, it was bad. It was interceptions. So we're over that. Allen did so much more with his feet. He did really well. This team played a full and complete game. And uh, the motor was strong. Gore was strong, Allen was strong, John Brown was strong, Cole Beasley had a good game, Matt Milano was on almost every single tackle every time you've seen him, and Tredavious White almost had a couple picks of his own, he locked down Sutton, I didn't even hear his name all game, the Bills are 8-3, and three. gobble, gobble, we're heading to Thanksgiving to play the Dallas Cowboys, and boy do they seem beatable, go Bills!